Okay, today is Wednesday. You've probably only just finished watching um, the videos from the weekend um, when I was in a caravan. Um, I've decided to do something slightly different. I have clubbed a few days together previously, like when we've been away for a weekend at the farm. This time I'm doing a week. Um, so it started Sunday with packing up the caravan, although I didn't share that this time because I've done that in the past, uh, but it's mostly from when we come home on the Sunday. So I'm hopefully gonna add onto that a little bit over the next seven days. Um, so I've already done Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. I've only done the basics so far today because I had to be out at half seven this morning because um, I had an eight o'clock appointment at the hospital for physiotherapy. So um, then I walked into town. Um, I wasn't going to because it was pouring down with rain and I thought just my... Um, luck it's raining so I didn't do so much walking around and someone did actually comment about pound stretcher and that offer is been on for a little while I did research our branch here um, because ours opened up July I think it was last year by the looks of it but as I don't go into town I don't know these things um, because I was closed for about 10-15 years maybe longer um, because again, I commented on someone's um, comment that um, this is Pound Stretcher was the store I went to when our boys were little um, because we didn't have Poundland, we didn't have Pound Word, Pound World, the 99p store at that time. So Pound Stretcher, I did miss. And some of the prices, yes, I agree with this um, subscriber that, yeah, some of the prices can be a little bit pricey and you have to be careful of the difference in prices. And I've been um, mentioning this about B&M, sometimes all the prices are not correct. So when I get to the cashier, if there's something that I think could be on the pricey side, or I'm not sure the price, I will actually say to the cashier, can you tell me the price? Because there might be a chance I may not have it. Um, very often they'll say once they've scanned it, um, is that okay? And I'll say yay or nay sort of attitude. But yes, yeah, so today probably on my seven day um, sort of uh, video library, there might not be much going up today due to the fact I was out. Um, so when I got back, I did actually um, take everything out on my bag, which is this one. I love this one, which is my Minnie Mouse one. And I had some lunch and a drink because I wasn't eating. If I'd been with a friend or something, maybe I would have gone for coffee. But I decided, you know what? Um, I had a bottle of water. I thought, no, I'll eat and drink when I get home, save a few pennies. And then I went round the corner shop because I had a day rider, but I was thinking, you know what? Should I go on the bus, get off at the center, walk over to Lidl, though it was raining, and do a little mini shop there. It would only be like one bag or something, um, due to the fact, obviously, getting back on the bus and everything. But it still carried on pouring down the rain. It is very black at the moment. It's briefly just spitting. Um, but it keeps coming down. So in the end, I decided, no, I'll walk it to the shop. So I've done all my exercise, all my steps already today. And um, I did a little tiny bit of shopping, but I was very extremely careful what I purchased. I am watching what I bring into the home. And I promised myself that I wouldn't go way over budget. And anything I purchased had to go in the one bag, which is this one, nothing more and nothing heavy because of carrying it and going on the bus and everything. And it had to go in this one and nothing too um, over the top as well. And I was really happy with myself because I only went in Poundland, The Works and Primark three of my favorite stores and they were all sort of um after I've walked from the hospital to the town center it was all sort of um that end of town and I didn't go any further so I was going to go and check out Pound Stretcher if it hadn't been raining I probably would have done but that was 
probably another 15 20 minute walk um to get two pounds stretch it if not more so i didn't do that um so yeah the, the usual stores and i promised myself i am not purchasing any bags no bags um if i do purchase the odd bag or not um, very often i ask the cashier to leave the tag on because then i use it as a gift bag but i've got so many bags and i'm using the same ones over and over again which is my mini mouse one so i'm sure you're waiting to see my little mini haul it might not be interesting i don't know because as i said it some of the stuff was already on my list so i'm going to start off with fairy now this is nowhere near the big size the big size is two pound fifty that wasn't a problem it was carrying it and i thought i wasn't sure what shopping i was going to do poundland was the first shop i come to sometimes i've gone to poundland because it's just about five minutes from the bus stop and where i've been to the hospital in the past like last year i happened to go into poundland that branch i've gone in poundland and thought i've had enough especially when you've had your mask on in the past in the hospital and everything as you still do now um, I couldn't be bothered. So I just got the small one and this is the 433 mil and that was a pound. Usually that's the size I only have in the caravan, but I wanted this um, fair at home. I just made sure I didn't run out because I haven't got a spare one and I've only got about that much left of my really large one. So I thought I better get one. Is anybody done the same? Even though I have a shopping list, there's always the obvious thing you forget and you keep saying yeah 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 i need this i need that i try and make sure they go on a shopping list but there's always something you forget so that was one thing my main name is usually sugar that's the one i normally um forget because i don't use it i don't take it right mm, these are normally five packets but these are the six they are 150 each and they're walkers sorry for the rest so and i got the six packets of plain because i'm very short of chris and six packets of the what sets but it was two of the six packets for two pound fifty if i remember rightly um so i i thought not too bad um because obviously they're named brands i have been having a lot of the co-op crisps and i haven't had any complaints and they're such a fraction but as you know we do get through a lot of crisps so i tend to get the larger bags and sometimes even when a name brand it's better to go larger as long as you don't you know have more than you should so um this item is for me and it is probably people i think it's boring but then again i did work it out i paid three um four five 50. i did pay six pound fifty i thought it was five pound fifty but i realized there was an item i forgot i think i spent six pound fifty on myself everything else i count as family or and i got a couple of gifts as well um but yeah <laughs> tissues we do get through a lot of tissues probably not so much this time of year but i had to get this one it's wonder woman you know me my tissue boxes i do love the um sort of wonder woman you are strong it's something positive again um wonder woman again logo there and it is you are strong i am fierce be amazing wonder woman so having that maybe i will have that probably more in my cubby because i'm always reaching for tissues or whatever um and that was a pound um as you know i love my um cluedo one i have in um the games room and i've never actually managed to get another one so sometimes i get a box like this and um take all the tissues out and put it in the other one and tape or seal the other one down um because it's gaming do you know what i mean but yeah i do like that one so that is on my budget for myself glue dots this is the item when i thought i'd only spent five pound fifty i forgot about my glue dots 
Um, this is for 240 pack crafters glue dots and I think the packaging is quite sweet as well So I was getting low, low on those because I use those a lot This is to go through the post to a subscriber It's a list pad, you know I'm queen of lists And I've been collecting list pads and sending them out to people and everything So do bear with me, I have got a list of things to send out And yeah, hands up um, I've still promised things and they will be going out um, so it's just the list pad 50 sheets I think this was 50 pence so there we are as I say just writing things down this is something else that I, I wanted to use to go, um, send things through the post this is actually the five pack um, and I like to use these um, so a couple of you might have already received things in these previously um, and that is it um, because I like these um, with the clip it's actually two black two plain black one white and these are the a5 size we've got like what is that like the um dalmatian is it print and then probably my favorite one is this one and i like to put bits and pieces um and send these to the post so something like this bit put in there along with one of my homemade cards and things like that just um to show my appreciation but there we are but they well, things have got a pile of stuff they're all actually um wrapped up parceled up and everything um and when i get to the post office you know i'll start sending those out do i need and this is not a pad because i said i wasn't going to buy any more pads for myself this is a weekly wellness planner um, my little book of lists plans and positivity yes i do i have my um everyday planner um near a christmas i've got a christmas planner I also have now a budget binder, which I will be going into a bit more detail because I'm in the middle of putting that together. I meant to have done it over the weekend, but I didn't take it with me. And what I like about this one, it does say about me on the front page that you can fill in, um, but it sometimes even I need that inspiration, motivation, and I think, and I put my hands up. I've been having a bad few days this week. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get them back on track and everything. As long as I've got my basics done, but I'm not getting as much done as I thought I'd done. I did really well on Sunday, as you'll see when my video comes out. But things phased off a little bit. But on this, it says, at the top, it says... Um, um, be positive to do list and plans my be positive to do list and plans and it's got the days of the week um today has been and then it's got like smile going from smiley faces down to smirks down to tears and everything like that maybe this can be a bit negative i don't know but very often um you know when i speak to my gp and um you know members of the diabetic team through the hospital and everything they do like to know um how i'm feeling um how i'm getting on i think it's not all to do with being physical it's mental as well because that can have um a large bearing on whatever's going on as well then it, here it's got like boxes here four boxes it says my top priorities this week yes a lot of this i do cover in my planner as well um, whether I don't know whether I will keep it in here or whether I will rip it out I don't know yet I will see and then it says be kind to yourself put on your favorite song and sing along um, Josh around jobs around sorry Josh I can't I haven't got my glasses on I do apologize jobs around the house to do and you've got another little segment there with a little house there and then down here it's got my friday and weekend treat me time and then it's got what i am super proud of this week so i think you know even if you was to say like one day like monday i would say i was near enough at my bottom 
I must admit, I I got everything done I wanted to do, but I wasn't in, I wouldn't say I was in a bad mood, but I was struggling. I was really struggling mentally. Um, and you might see that sometimes when maybe I don't come on camera that much or talk, um, feeling down sort of thing. Everybody has those days and I put my hands up and on top of that, I had the, um, the surgery ring. <laughs> I seem to be forever at hospital and a surgery and I thought oh what's gone wrong now why who wants to see me now sort of attitude you know and I put my hands up I have been pushing for this for so long for my um, vitamin D to be checked and doctors didn't want to know I finally got able last Monday I got my own doctor on a telephone consultation and he wanted to know how I was and everything because um, I hadn't seen him in nearly three years and um, he said I'm going to send you for blood tests and I didn't know because he didn't say this this was one of the things I was tested for after a conversation and he didn't tell me this and that's why the surgeon rang me that my um, vitamin D was totally abnormal and I've been thinking this um, for some time that I wanted to get tested for that and luckily my doctor did get me tested for it so yeah so they've rang me up to tell me um, my prescription has actually this is yesterday my subscription's gone over to Boots um, for the um, vitamin D supplement so yeah so that's something I'm waiting for Boots to contact me to pick me up maybe pick up maybe that's something else along with B12 the trouble is with certain illnesses and everything that's going on I know I'm going off topic here because it's supposed to be a mixed haul but this is the problem with certain things um, they're all very connected and I'm not going to go into too much detail about B12 but my doctor picked that up and not another one and um, I've been suffering that with some time and it took my own doctor to pick that one up he seemed to know straight away because he knows me he knows that I don't put things on I don't say I've got this I've got that all I say to him is I don't feel quite right I I'm sure there's something wrong here and ask you know I tell him my symptoms and everything and I think this is what ha came out in a conversation um last Monday um about how I was feeling everything and I said I just feel so tired and drained i said i've already had my b12 injection but i am still feeling um very you know tired and even though you know i feel as though i could sleep i don't sleep very well either so yeah sorry about that but yeah so this is a really good um i think thing and then at the back it's just got notes and thoughts so yeah if anything it's probably one of those things um more than I like to scribble in my plan if you know what I mean. I like that to be a bit neater and readable. This is probably what I'm going to call my scribble pad, you know, and things like that. And if I hadn't said that was actually £1.50. It's surprising how many items now are not a pound. So I do apologise for the rabbiting on. So I should have said this, you know, just fast forward some of the bits. Right after Poundland, I went to the works, which was just a little way down. And you know what? I picked three paper pads up and I went, <coughs> no go. And I put them back. I was really good because if you remember me saying a little while ago, not break, breaking in, breaking in. Make, I'm not going to purchase, I'll get my words out in a minute, I'm not going to purchase any more paper pads for a while. Um, unless it's something I really can't live without <laughs> and I put them down and there were some lovely summer spring um, paper pads and I just put them back down and I thought no but I did buy three sales items I said don't go into this works very often I'm going to try not knock the camera a bit and stand because I am sort of sitting on the floor I bought three die cuts um, metal dies so the first one is this one this was originally eight pounds down to six down to a pound and this is to do with my Sizzix machine and it's the um dolly frame by spring is in the air and it's this one 
and I thought that's really nice and for a pound I thought that was really good I know I've got a lot of metal dies and I am going to probably um, do a video on that um, very shortly the next one is vintage lace this is another one that was eight pounds same thing down to six and then a pound and it's this one and that's there I thought that was really good for a pound different sizes of the flowers and then this one I think might have been eight pounds down to six again down to a pound and it's this hello and this is actually a die cut and your stamp so it's um sort of you know a set so I thought this was really good so you've got the hello there and then you got um friend me to you as well which is like the rubber stamp for stamping um because i know chatty bat is mentioned about um me doing some stamping so in between me doing the seven day all in one video i probably do bits and pieces like this as well so this was part of my six pounds fifty was it yeah six pound fifty um bits for myself so um i'll probably go back and show you what i got in a moment for myself right um the last shop i went to and i was really good i didn't pick much up was primark and the first one it's gone really dark so i hope the light's all right on this is the harry potter and it's the cauldron desk tidy set it was eight pounds down to four so that's that um i have got a lot of harry potter fans um in the family um so i thought i'll pull this up that's if i don't end up giving it myself <laughs> so i'm just going to open it and show you what it is because sometimes these sort of things can be expensive so this is the pot so it's the pot there with harry potter on and you've got um the pencil um what does that say on that um back to hogwarts on the pencil we've got the um is that that looks like a pen yeah it's a pen with the is it the sorting hat Isn't that sweet look at the detail on that yeah <laughs> and then we've got the hogwarts um sort of ruler and then we've got a, another pen um and that's just got yeah h for hogwarts on so i thought that was not too bad and it is pottery it is pottery that bit is plastic but this is actually pottery and that was um down to four pounds as you know i do especially halloween time and everything um do have um sort of a lot of harry potter stuff going into the autumn and everything and halloween i do have harry potter stuff out so and i think that makes a lovely gift um like i said for four pounds and I only bought the two items from um, Primark. And the other one, I seen these when I did a shop with me um, in Primark when I was in Corby. And these were originally six pounds down to three. These don't know who these are for. And this is a Dumbo. And it is from the Disney range because I have got so many stuff. Funny enough, some of the Disney items, I don't know if it's because the stock's not going, I don't know. They've already started um, actually reducing some of their stuff. But I'm sure these were on sale when I was showed you before. And they're gorgeous. So you've got Dumbo there. I forgot these the right way up. And then they are actually furry this furry inside and they were three pounds so i've got two items because i haven't bought anything for my um sort of gift cupboard for a long time so i've got those two items and i know they're two items that will be used and gifted um i then came home on the bus it was pouring down with rain like i said i had my lunch i had a drink emptied my bag then i went around the corner shop in the end because i needed a few items i'm going to try not quickly um look too much down at my receipt so i've got the milk which was one pound fifty 
um, because you know me, I always have Iceland delivery. I haven't for the last two weeks, um, but I haven't been particularly very happy with the dates. I've mentioned this to um, the store manager a number of times now, especially with fresh items. Although saying this, the co-op hadn't had um, bread delivery um, has yet. They said it was coming in later today. And I've been around the last three or four times for fresh bread products and they have left anything. I haven't had this make before and these was £1.59 I think it was for the bread. As sometimes when I go around the cart I do tend to have more of World Burton's or King's Mill. I did pick these up as normally um, these are more expensive. I think this was £1.25. Um, this is Hobby's favourite and this is the Giants. Normally these can be up to £1.99. I try not to buy them when they're that price, but when they're a little bit lower, um, pound or £1.25. I haven't seen them for a pound for a while, but £1.25 for those. Then I got some potatoes. I think these were a pound, I'd like to say. Um, yes, a pound. Not a big bag because of, again, carrying it. Um, so I've got white potatoes for tea tonight. Um, I really need to get a sack again. And I normally get that from Lidl now. So I've got those um, potatoes. Then the onions, I think, were 66 pence or 65. 65 pence was the onions. So again, because I normally pay a pound Iceland and at least then I can see the dates on fresh stuff. So like I said, um, everything else is for family and couple of gifts. Um, so the only things we really had, and it worked out £6.50, is the, um, I'm really proud of myself actually to go up town, was the three dies, my sort of, um, Plan plans and positivity diary, my glue dots, which I definitely needed because I was short and I needed some tissues. So that was sort of, except for the glue dots, the other items were not actually on my list. But I think that's really good because normally if I'd gone into Primark um, in the past, I would have easily spent anything 20, 25 pound easily, um, but Unless it's a gift, I try and stay away. I did buy jogging bottoms, as you know, and um, leggings over the weekend. So I'm sorry that I may have rabbited on. I know certain people don't like the um, sort of chatty. They just want to see the products. But very often when I think it's over, a bit too over chatty, I do actually put right at the beginning, chatty um, mixed haul so you can be pre-warned. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.